Hello guys, I just got my package and it is the Smart Plug Cancun SPT, SP3, sorry. This one um, is a uh, nice device which um, this one has, well, you can see the branding here. Look at the device. Mm -hmm. Well, you can choose a Smart Plug. It's pretty much like a Wi-Fi for one of your uh, power outlets mainly for that so let me unbox this and see what's inside like the, the package looks quite nice like plastic glossy looking like glass look like and looks like a well package it has uh, the uh, QR codes to scan and get the application to use this from Android or from Mac I only tested the Android one which is eh, more or less not that good um, well, yeah, it's, it's enough. It's enough for your purposes. But at my end, at the end, I will try to use this for, with um, Tasker and Auto Voice. That's the main goal on this. Looking in here, you see it has the number four functions, and it's a Wi-Fi enhancer, so you can expand your signal. Uh, from my testing, it kind of looked like it works. I'm actually getting a better signal at my room since I plugged this, and it's quite quite good. And here it has a professional timing, which is just uh, this is mainly to time it out and you know build some schedules. Charging protection. It has a battery inside. I haven't been able to test this out. I'm not sure if you will be able to keep the device uh, on, providing power to whatever you plug in it, but or it's just to save the settings when you configure it. So I'm not sure. So you know when you get a, like a power out in and out, it will or out and in, it will. Uh, you know keep the settings and you will need to reconfigure it so this could be like uh can be also used as an access point or you can connect it to your wi-fi so i tested both and both are quite good the wi-fi connection you need to you know to make this part of your network it requires a little bit of googling as it's not compatible with every single uh security that you can apply i think i was using like wpa2 uh AES something like that and I was not able to to use it with this so I had to change and Google a little bit on the community on Google Plus in order to find out what would be the the, the best way to do this so let me uh, open this up and see what's inside okay let me take this small cover and here we have uh, the manual it was quite regular nothing good Okay, let me pull this up. Um, nothing important, the QR codes and how to configure it. It's not the best instructions in the world, it's only in English and it doesn't talk about any of the four features that you see in this box. So it doesn't talk anything about that. So we'll looking high, we get the device. Oh, this is quite tight in here. Let me try to pull it up. Okay, I have it. Now we look, it's a normal US block. This is just a cover. Let me take that off. And as you can see, it's, um, it's a decent size. It's not that big, not, not extremely small, but it's fair enough, fair for the purposes. Here you see two lights. These are two LEDs. One would be for you get a red LED when this is on, and the red LED will go off once you disable it. So what I mean with the LED is that you're actually allowing power uh, for whatever you plug in here. And the green one is mainly for configuration, it blinks and stuff like that. Uh, no, it's not the green; it's actually blue. And that's it. Oh, this is uh, bottom for resetting the device. So here you have issues as I did when I try to configure it with this, as encryptions on which this one is not compatible, and it's not mentioning here, which is in, not even on the website. But either way, it's a great device. This one has OpenWRT, which is uh, an open source software for our routers and it works great you can even SSH into it you can like Google around and find the credentials to get into this device and you can even install stuff you can put the OPKG package into it and start downloading stuff like any Linux distribution 
it's pretty much open WRT. You can Google a little bit about it and and see all what you can do in this. You can even install applications. You can even have a web server. I actually put a, a, a web service in it so I can like talk to it from any device inside my house without the need of the application on the cell phone. So I can even send it from uh, from a computer, I can send it from my tablet, uh, I can send it from outside my house. And the best thing of this, why I choose this and why is the best, is because you don't need to uh, pay any subscription to, to, to a company so you can like connect out from the outside. And you know, most of the home automations, most of the home automation stuff, you need to actually be attached to a company and this is totally for you. You build your own solution and this is the best for me. This is the best if you want a power outlet in which you need to tell other people, hey, I'm, I'm here, I'm at home or not. And you know, the people on that website, is, you know, they, they're not, uh, you know, they shouldn't know what, what the hell are you doing with your devices and, and all that. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, yeah, I will probably create another video on how I test this with Tasker and Auto Voice so I can turn it on and off with voice commands. And I will probably update this later. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you. Bye bye.